everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you all doing really really good so today's video is a little bit different guys today i'm going to talk about my capsule makeup pack it is similar to capsule wardrobe the concept is similar to capsule wardrobe um just in case if you're not familiar with what is capsule makeup pack or what is capsule wardrobe you can just google it or <laughs> i'm just going to tell you it's like um you know picking a product from each category and putting them together um, depending on your needs, depending on your lifestyle and you will be using the, those certain products for a while, like for 10 days or for one month, it totally depends on you. So I have curated this capsule bag for like 15 days. So for 15 days I'm just going to use the products in this one. I'm not going to touch anything. So that is what capsule bag meant. Uh, it is like really really great for uh, traveling or it's just really good uh, you know to curate these kind of capture makeup bags for your like if you're like a working woman or you're like always a last minute person if you're a last minute person these things are like really really good you won't be get distract distracted with other makeup stuff so what made me curate this capsule makeup bag is i really have to get really quick and um i really wanted to look good on that day but i couldn't you know my make my mind stopped working like i couldn't you know i couldn't imagine a look so i thought like you know why not create a capsule makeup bag so that you know you'll be left with minimal products and you know they are your favorites and you know they are going to work for you and you, as you have minimal minimal products it will be really really easy to curate a look it will be really easy to do the look so you won't be get you won't get distracted with other eyeshadow palettes and other lipsticks other blushes you won't be distracted with those so you will be having everything what you need in that bag so i'm going to show you what i've got in my makeup bag so when i was putting my makeup bag some major decluttering happened guys so yeah i've got so many lipsticks which i really really like the formula and the colors and everything but i haven't used them for so long like i haven't used them for so long i'm not reaching them so what i wanted to do is like i don't want to throw throw them out because i really really like them so while i was you know i was picking the products for the makeup bag so i kept in my mind like i want to use the products which i haven't used for a long time and which i really like so that's it guys and which can be multitasking that is a perk guys like seriously multitasking products save so much of time um so the first thing is the primer this is l'oreal lucent magic primer i'm not using much of primers these days like I was never a primer person but yeah I'm not using much of primers but when I'm going out anywhere I'm definitely using so this is the primer I, I've been using Calabar primer for like the longest time and I don't want that primer now because my skin got really really drier I want something which adds a bit of luminance to my skin so I am kind of Resisting this and I really really like this um, This one goes really really smooth and adds a little bit of uh, luminance to your skin. It's kind of a dupe for uh, Max Stro cream, but I don't know how well that is true because I've never used a Max Stro cream Which I really want to so this is this so coming to the foundation um, so I, I know guys, uh, I know like in coming 15 years I don't have any event to attend where I want like a full coverage foundation. So I didn't pick a foundation, I instead I've gone for this BB cream. This is Body Shop T3 Flawless BB cream. This is like really really good guys. But it is meant for oily skin but it goes like perfectly good with that primer on. So I've got this. Um, this is in the shade 02. This is like a really really lightweight and it provides um, I would say really light coverage. It's not like medium to heavy coverage. No, it's not like that. It's a light coverage, really lightweight on the skin and good for coming summers. 
And coming for the concealer, I've got this like MAC um, Select Moisture Cover Concealer because this is the number one concealer I use. Um, I mean, I use this every time I put my makeup on. Um, I just use this to cancel out my dark circles and um, if I got any blemishes, I use this on top of that. But this time I haven't picked anything which um, is brightening because again I don't have to be like really really full coverage uh, for the coming 15 days so I haven't added any brightening concealer just this one but if you want you can totally do that or if you have like a multi-purpose thing like which adds a little brightness and which can cover your dark, dark circles that would be really really good so and for the brows I kind of reunited with this MAC Brow Pencil. This is MAC Brow Pencil guys. This is in the shade Spiked. I used to use this a lot. Um, I don't know why I stopped using this. I've started using like Face Shop one and I've continued to use that. So yeah, this is MAC Brow Pencil. This is like really really good. It's been so long I haven't used this. But this is still not dry. It's not dried. It goes really really good perfect this is like a really good one guys if you want to invest on a good brow pencil go for this but the only thing which i don't like it's not like i don't like if this comes with a spoolie that would be a really really good but this one doesn't have i think the new ones new mac eyebrow pencils are having spoolie i don't know yeah this one comes with a brush that would be really really great so this is this is what I picked for my eyebrows. So coming to the powder, I've got this Makeup Forever um, HD powder. This is a translucent one, guys. The reason why I picked this one is this is so lightweight. You just need a tiny amount of this to set your under eye. And this is like really, really good, guys. It doesn't add any coverage or any color because this is a translucent one and this is a really really tiny pack like this is a travel size one so it's perfect for like traveling and it's perfect to put it in your bag as well so that's the reason I put this one for this week and coming to the eyes I've got these two eyeshadows guys these are single eyeshadows from MAC one is satin taupe and the other one is bronze these two are like really really good guys they are kind of self-sufficient eyeshadows like I've done a whole blog post about these eyeshadows guys it's just like you know you apply this one single eyeshadow and you're good to go they add a little bit of shimmer and dimension and everything so these two are like really really good and I haven't used them I, I, like I haven't used them in a long time I used to love satin toe but for some reason I haven't used this for a long from a long time so I've bought I've got these two eyeshadows to put in my makeup bag and coming to the eyeliner I'm not using a much of a gel eyeliner or liquid eyeliner um, I'm not using any eyeliner <laughs> most of the times I'm just using mascara but I really really want to use liner because adding a liner will transform your look to another level so yeah I kind of reunited with this again this is sugar I told you so smudge proof eyeliner in the shade black smile this is really really good eyeliner because this is the blackest of blacks like this is the most black eyeliner I've tried and I've got in my stash and moving on to the mascaras I've got this Maybelline Falsies Push It Drama Mascara I'm not a big fan of this guys it kind of flakes on me but the reason why I put this in back is I don't have my favorite L'Oreal mascaras in my stash at the moment so I just want to use this up and throw it but I totally recommend you guys to put you know to put your comfortable formulas in the makeup bag because you have to feel you should feel comfortable while wearing that because you're minimizing the stuff so putting best things together will work for you otherwise you are going to reach for other things so yeah i want to use this up and throw it out and the next is this mac bronzing powder this is you know uh, to bronze up my face it just comes handy if i want to use any matte eyeshadow in my crease it just comes really really handy you know picking and using 
um, you know, multitasking products is the key for catching makeup bag, guys. And for the blush, I've got this NYX blush, guys. This is like a really, really beautiful, bright coral. This is in the shade Summer. Again, I haven't used this a lot after I bought this one, but I really, really like this shade. It is like perfect to pair it with the lipsticks I've got in my stash. And for the highlighter, I've got Mary Luminizer. I've got Mary Luminizer. This is my favorite highlighter because I don't have to talk a lot about this one. Everybody knows about this. So this is one of the best highlighters out there. So yeah. And I haven't used this from a long time because I'm constantly using a lot of cream products. I haven't touched this. So I want to use this again. And today I'll use this to brighten up my inner corner. And for the lipsticks, I've got like three options. Um, one is this Lakme Absolute Lip Tint Matte. This is what I'm having in, on my lips. Uh, this is in the shade Victoria Rose. This is like a really, really bright um coral again it's like a really comfortable formula and it lasts really long and it's totally matte so i really love this one and i haven't used it for so long so yeah i want to use this one and this is l'oreal what you call a uh, collection star by blake this is pure scarlet guys this is in the shade pure scarlet it's a red i've got this red lipstick just in case you know if I want to look more polished or if I want to wear a red uh, because I'm, I'm not going like really heavy with the eyeshadow so if I want to add a bit more drama to my look I will go with this red and the next lipstick is this Lakme lipstick this is from the 9 to 5 range um, this is in the shade Red Chaos um, this is one of the most beautiful neutral lipsticks guys uh, I want to add one neutral lipstick in my in bag so yeah and I haven't used this from a long time and this used to be one of my favorite guys I used to use a lot um, this is such a beautiful shade and it kind of you know it kind of uh, goes well with more like a lot of skin tones so yeah this is a wonderful neutral lipstick and it stays really long time and it's totally matte so yeah that's the last thing in my makeup bag so that is it guys that is all i have got in my makeup bag uh, i'm going to use these products only these products in the coming 15 days so i hope i'm not going to reach for any other because i've got everything covered i've got like a bright lipstick i've got neutral lipstick i've got like shimmery eyeshadows and a wonderful highlighter if I don't want to use those two eyeshadows, I can use the highlighter as an eyeshadow. So yeah, that is it guys. So let me know guys if you have ever tried this or how you like this idea of, you know, catch your makeup bag. Um, do let me know in the comments and if you have any video suggestions, let me know in the comments. And yes, I will see you in my next video. Bye.